Hey everyone, today I wanted to demonstrate infrared in the Flipper Zero. So you'll notice that you have to aim the gun fairly well. to be able to get a shot off. However, with our flipper, we can simply press the button regardless of where we aim. And it works. And I present the flipper rocket launcher. This video will teach you how to record your existing weapons on the flipper zero as well as how to try to discover new weapons. Let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to a team. Red team. Laser gun. Machine gun. Good luck. And then on your flipper, you're gonna to go to infrared. Learn new remote. Fire the gun. There it is. Go ahead and save that. And then we'll name it Red and Machine Gun. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on Save. And then go down to the plus. And this time switch your team. Green team. Plasma gun. Single shot, laser gun, machine gun. And then go ahead and save that. And then continue the process for the remaining colors and weapons. Okay, with that all done, we're going to go in QFlipper to the files, go to the SD card, infrared, and you should have a remote.ir. We're gonna download that and put it in a directory you can find and hit save. Great. And so here is all of our saved signals for infrared. And these are basically the pulses of light that are how long the light is pulsing on or off for the various signals. Now that we've downloaded that file, we'll go to lab.flipper.net, radio tools, select file, choose our file that we saved. And now we can see the signal. Um, and the way you see this is this is when the light is being sent, is when there's no light being sent. And then in here, we can see the different timings of those signals. And it looks to me like there's short or long pulses. And the short ones look around 400 and the long ones look around 800. Um, and then this very first pulse was around 1600. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're open up that remote IR. We'll copy our blue laser. And this time I'm going to call it E underscore for edit. Uh, so it's a type raw, 38 kilohertz is the frequency that the light was blinking with a 33% duty cycle. And what we said was we think we can get away with 400, 800, and 1600. So let's try that. So 1600, this would become a 400. This would be 800, 800, 400. 400, 400. Okay, with that entry modified, we'll go ahead and right click on Remote IR, Reveal in File Explorer, and we'll drag our remote back into QFlipper. We'll go into Saved Remotes and go into Remote. And now we can try sending that signal to our target. So once you've tested that all your signals are working and you have all of your blue, red, green, and white hand edited files and they're all working, 
what I did was I made every 400 I switched to a zero and every 800 I represented as a one. And I made this file to show for each gun team that I was on, what weapon I had and how many points that weapon took away. And what we can see is the beginning of the file is the same. So this is the same for all the entries. And then it has this kind of 101001 pattern. And then here we can see that their blue team was 001. And the red team was 010. The green team was 011. And the white team was 100. I'm not sure why I was kind of expecting the white team to just be 00. Um, and just use these two bits, but it looks like there's three bits here. So there's other interesting combinations like 000 or 111 uh, for a team we could try. Likewise, our weapons, uh, we see it's 10 was the laser gun and the machine gun, which take off two points. And 10 in binary is two. And then 11 was for the plasma gun that takes off three points. And then zero one was for our single shot. And so that's interesting as well. And we can see for each gun uh, team that those patterns repeat. And then finally, the last four bits seem to be somewhat random, um, but based on what values were before. So I think it's probably a four bit checksum of some sort. Um, so there's, 16 combinations, 0000, 0, 0, 0 through 1111, that we would have to try. If we're gonna edit any of these things, for example, to try a different team like the 111 team, we would then have to try the 16 different checksums because probably only one of those values would be correct. So I tried shooting the gun multiple times and every time I would shoot it with the same weapon and the same team, I was getting the same data. When I turned the power off and on and reset the game, I noticed that the beginning eight bits change every time you power it. So I thought, that's interesting. That seems to be some kind of game identifier or gun identifier or something that, that happens when you start the game. And then we still have our 101010 pattern. And then we noticed that there's always like, uh, typically things are eight bits in a byte. So that's a good kind of, Thing to look at um, and so we can see that there's always these four zeros and then there was that team number which we saw was one through four in this case i was uh team red and then we have our zeros again and then we have the weapon in this case i was doing a single shot for each of the tests um, but we could try different weapons and maybe even more bits here would give us a stronger weapon and then more zeros and then our checksum. Okay, so I've made a little Python program here that creates a gun.ir file for you. And it spits out that uh, name, the raw frequency, the duty cycle. And then for the data, it'll have the gun ID. And I've put a gun ID up here from my gun. Uh, that 1010 pattern, the zeros, the team, and in this case, I've chosen the red team, and then zeros, and the weapon. In this case, I've chosen a single weapon, and then zeros, and then a checksum. And for that checksum, it's going to loop through this range of 0000, 0, 0, 0 through 1111. And so it's going to spit out all 16 combinations of these things, and it's going to tell us uh, the command will basically be which checksum it's using. So that we should be able to right click and say open and integrated. And then we can say Python and then gun.py. And that makes us a gun.ir file. If you don't have Python, you might have to type in Python all by itself. Um, and it should open the store and let you install Python. So now that we have that gun.ir file, I'm gonna go ahead and right click and I will say reveal in File Explorer, and then bring up QFlipper, we're in our in infrared folder, and we're gonna drag that gun.ir file.
Okay, so there's our gun IR. So now we can go to save remotes and go to gun. So now we'll go ahead and just try the different codes. So we'll send each one of these codes. Pointing it at the target. Okay, and we found the code, it's 0D. And we lost one point, so our target is down to 14. Okay, so now that that worked, let's go ahead and try making a new TNT weapon. And we'll say 800, 400, 400, 800. TNT, 1001 which is nine points. And then our weapon is weapon TNT. And we'll go ahead and run that Python gun file again. Reveal and file explorer. And then we'll drag our gun.ir file. Okay, so we'll go into save remotes. And then we'll go into gun. And then we'll start trying the different codes. Nice, and so checksum six was the thing we needed, and you can see that we were able to use TNT. So we've invented a new weapon. So I'll put this code up on my wiki. Hopefully now you know how you can analyze an infrared toy and kind of dissect that protocol and hopefully discover new weapons. I also tried changing different teams and I was able to get a team. Team five is actually blank in color. It doesn't light up the light at all, but it is able to kill blue, red, green, and white. So that allows the flipper to have one IR signal that kills everyone, including yourself if you're wearing a target. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, uh, reach out to me on my Discord channel or leave a comment below. Thanks a lot. Let me know what games you're able to hack with the Flipper IR.